Hello and welcome to my unboxing and first look at the Chaos Space Marine Sorcerer. He's in this box right here. He will set you back £17.50, um, which is about right for these single characters. Some are £20, some are even £22.50. Uh, but luckily, uh, this guy um, is £17.50. So <clears throat> he's in here along with, yep, you've guessed it. We've got the uh, book two in the Psychic Awakening series. Here he is. Chaos Space Marine Sorcerer. And then here is the uh, book. Uh, the book um, first look will be in a separate video. That's what it looks like. It's basically got him on the front of it. Uh, I've been reading some comments and things on the inter internet and I have to agree with quite a few people. Uh, this Psychic Awakening was supposed to be the biggest thing since the Horus Heresy. Uh, so far we've had two books. There is a kind of Blood Angels Tyranid book coming out. Um, I think that's up for pre-order this weekend actually. Uh, we've had the Blood of the Phoenix book. We've basically had four characters if you include um, Mephiston, uh, this sorcerer, and the uh, Drazar and Janezar. I thought there'd be more. Um, maybe there's going to be a fourth and fifth and sixth book and things, but uh, a few of these books, there have been opportunities to create new new miniatures, uh, definitely with the new, um, I want to call it Shield of Bar. Why do I want to call it Shield of Bar? Anyway, with the third book, with Mephiston, definitely there was an opportunity to make a new Red Terror model or a couple of new um, Tyranid models, but... There we go, uh, we'll have a look at that in the next video, so hopefully you join me for that. This is why you're here though, uh, for the Chaos Space Moon Sorcerer model. Um, really like this model uh, when it came out and it's gonna look great with my Word Bearers Army too. Um, it's in this uh, clamshell pack. Probably one of the reasons why it is £17.50. Um, some of the models that are like £20 and so have their own cardboard boxes. And then like a plastic uh, inlet tray. Yeah, anyway, short work. Uh, so you've got a nice, I want to say that that is a 40mm base um, rather than a 32 It's like a Terminator base. There's the sprue. <clears throat> no easy way of getting this out. You're just going to have to pinch it out. And uh, yeah. He's got, it looks like, nine parts there. Very straightforward and easy to build. He's going to be put together quite quickly. He's just monopose. Um, you've just got his little stat line there. No data sheet. You'll find his rules in the uh, Chaos Space Marine Codex. Um, I love the Chaos Space Marine range, uh, the new range. I really do. Uh, they were a pretty good army for a while, like rules-wise, until sort of Space Marines got their new um, book and became ridiculously good. Anyway, this is the sprue. This is gonna be quite a quick uh, video. I don't really have time just to put him together. Um, I've got quite a few other videos to be doing at the moment. Uh, if you've stay tuned to the channel, you'll, you'll see them all. Um, I've been hard at work, uh, but lots of detail on this uh, plastic miniature, um, like the icon there and the like staff, like the little sorcerer power and the head of the staff as well. Uh, you've got um, his left leg and some scrolls it looks like and a power plant and then you've got his hand and an arm lovely bit of detail in there on the shoulder pauldron this uh, ram's head I want to call it or demon head you've got his head there um, I suppose you could put a helmet on him but I really like him sort of screaming uh, you know it's pretty awesome fair amount of detail on there and then I like his kind of psychic hood equivalent with these um, uh, details inlaid into his cloak um, and details there in his psychic hood and his uh, power plant with these 
Uh, they look like serpents or dragons or something on there too. So yeah, not many parts. Um, what you'd expect from a £17.50 plastic model. I'm going to enjoy putting this together. And once he's assembled, I'll compare him to uh, the other Chaos uh, Space Marines. I'll go through his full rules and things found in that codex too. Um, what do you guys think of this model? Uh, please do put it in the comments below. I think it's a great little addition. I just wish that they'd go to what would make more new miniatures uh, for Psychic Awakening. Maybe there are some on the way, but I can understand that they've been busy with, uh, you know, Sisters of Battle. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. Death to the False Emperor.